Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And before we get this video started, I just wanted to make a quick shout out to Dubspace for sending me the link to the official specifications of the Snapdragon X16 LTE modem, which will be the Snapdragon 835. As I had mentioned in my previous video, AT&T says they will be rolling out four channel carry aggregation soon within the next year. So I said in the video that that's hinting that the Snapdragon 835 will be able to enable four channel carry aggregation. With this link, I am able to confirm it. Supports up to four carry aggregation, as you can see, which is really good that I'm able to confirm this to you guys. So the next devices, Samsung Galaxy S8, LG G6 that are rolling out this upcoming year, well, this year, they will support four channel carry aggregation. Now, I've made a video in the past about carriers and how much spectrum they have. So in my opinion, I think AT&T and Sprint will be the first carriers to roll out a fourth carry aggregation sometime this year. I'm thinking Sprint will probably be towards the end of the year and AT&T probably around middle towards the end. Um, right now Verizon is in a very heavy densification campaign so they're not looking to add spectrum they're looking to add micro cells and small cells but they will eventually add more spectrum and i think this year towards like middle and end they will effectively roll out band 5 which will barely enable their third carrier <clears throat> aggregation and then probably in 2018 early they will add the fourth carrier to um, you know, either band two or band five. In some markets, they're rolling out band two first and then band five. And then you know, in some markets, they don't have the additional spectrum to do a fourth carrier. Um, Sprint has the ability to roll out. I, I want to say the fourth carrier in the top hundred markets. So they have tons of spectrum available to do so, and so does AT&T. So. I think we will see that this year and um, T-Mobile, if you go back and check that video, they have the lowest amount of spectrum and T-Mobile won't be able to do a fourth carrier until they get 600 megahertz spectrum or they, you know, they purchase additional spectrum in the future. But with 256 qualms, 4x4 MIMO and 50 megahertz, they will still be able to achieve one gigabit of speeds, as uh, Neville Ray mentioned at the CES conference. And, you know, they can do so in a certain amount of markets, not all, but but some. So definitely just wanted to share this with you guys. This is really good info that I'm able to confirm this. So now, you know, I do have to recommend, you know, you to buying a new uh, new device that is coming out so you can take advantage of these features. You know, like I've been told, I've been doing a lot of research, three to six months in, in the wireless industry is, is, is a long time. To us, it's really short, but they're, they're making a lot of advancements in their networks. So you're gonna start seeing faster and faster speeds with these capabilities and these capable modems. Now, where does that leave Apple? That remains to be seen on this new iPhone. They're, they're usually always behind a year or two, so we'll see if their chips are gonna be able to do the fourth carrier aggregation. So that, that remains to be seen. Um, give these videos a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support. You know, leave the comments, you know, in the comment section down below. Let me know what your opinion is. And, you know, like, share, and subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.